Hello. Continuing with the trend of sharing personal journals, here I go again. Another quick one I did, just trying to capture a moment, and I thought that there were a few points I made that might be worth sharing, and I hope something in this speaks to you, and that if you are beginning a journey to grow and change and become more of who you are, know that there is a long process and there's a fair amount of work, but the payoff is so great that in the end, you can only think you got a bargain. So this is me looking back at five years of work, almost six now, and um, having a moment of reflecting on where I was to where I am and how I experience life so differently and how I think that shows through, and I hope it shows through. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let me run it, and uh, I'll catch you on the other side. So I was just in the bathroom stretching, and I was looking in the mirror, and I was struck by the fact that I barely recognized myself, and granted, I've gone through a few cosmetic changes over the years, but that wasn't the part that struck me. It was, it was my affect, my glow, my, just my energy, I guess, that was so completely different that it reminded me that sometimes we go through these major life experiences, these big changes, and who we are going into them is not who we are coming out of them. There's a part of us that has to die for that. And that sounds pretty dark, that sounds pretty sad, but really it's ultimately quite liberating. There should be some grieving, some gratitude for who we've been, for flaws and all, for all that who we were did to bring us as we are now to this moment as we are in in some way that it is essential to, to stop and recognize that but also to know that we're on the far side of it and that the work is to build on that to carry that forward not cut it off deny it suppress it reject it but to actually work it into the foundation of whatever it is we build from the present moment forward and in that it it creates a stronger substrate it creates a better surface upon which to build and it allows us to carry so many of the things that were good and were functional and were well intended um, even if perhaps we didn't succeed in let's say living in alignment with that and if we made some pretty grave errors along the way, then the work we do now is a way we can atone for that and try to skip, to, to not skip, to tip the scale back to the favor of serving what's good in life. And I think that being present with who we are, with respect for how we got here and what those <clears throat> pardon, former selves have brought is is really important to being fully ourselves to fully integrating who we are to allowing every part of us a seat at the table <clears throat> and to go in and sort of act like a management consultant and say like what is it you do here no, 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 you should be at the front desk. And you? Why aren't you back in the boiler room getting that stuff working then? You know, and, and really sort of reassign the aspects in a way that everybody has a functional role and they know their, their place and they can hit their marks and they can serve their purpose and that we're not at odds with ourselves, not with the aspects that make us who we are today and not with the, the aspects that 
have brought us here through our past experiences. And I think there's a certain necessity in fully assembling all those characters at the table and in striking some understanding, some accord, and getting everybody to work together on some new organizational flowchart that actually serves and allows everyone and every thing its place in that larger composition that ultimately we are. I, I guess you could say there's <clears throat> a core essential self that's sort of observing it all and trying to moderate, but there's also the self we are, the that we go into the world as, is sort of a, an emergent property of all those other elements. And in bringing them into harmony, we can go out and sing a sweeter song in life. So yeah, I think that that really struck me that I had to, I had to go through being these people and I had to then grieve those people I'd been and thank them for getting me here. And then I had to allow so much of who they are to remain in play, even though that part of me is gone. It's, I'm not that person anymore. I think five years ago, a woman standing in that same space, looking in that same mirror, probably doing a similar stretch. There's almost nothing that makes me that person anymore in terms of how I operate, in terms of how I think, how I feel, how I move in the world. Almost everything is different and yet there are things about the person who stood there five years ago and 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 did resolve to grow and to change knowing that moving forward might mean the destruction of of what she was and what she had and what she served and i think that takes a certain amount of courage and conviction to to make that commitment and follow through and so there, there are things I'm not proud of from, from my past, certainly, but the people I was, right, the past selves I was, they were really trying. They were really doing their best with what they had at the time, and there's so many things that are worth carrying forward, so I still allow room for a lot of those aspects at the table. It's just, we're running a different operation now and everybody's kind of been reassigned. So I'm hoping that that will be a more harmonious arrangement on the whole and that what I carry will continue to look like this. And, and it was sad, it was just kind of a gnarled and dim and <sighs> I don't know. There was something just jagged about the person I was and there's something much more aligned about being as I am now. And yeah, it really hit me hard and I just wanted to capture that. Okay, best luck, bye bye. So there's a brief overview of my personal psychic spiritual transmutation from a jagged being to someone who is ever more aligned with the many things that I ultimately am, that we, we all ultimately are an array of different aspects. We, we have many facets and we need to know how to turn those to serve the time and the place and the purpose as we grow with a certain amount of wisdom, hopefully. Hopefully we don't just grow old, hopefully we grow wise. And I need my tea as always, excuse me. Um, yeah, it's, it's been an experience, it's been a process, but for all that perhaps I'm downplaying the amount of work it takes, it is a lot of work, but coming at it every day, like it's a new, a new exercise and just giving it what I had, sometimes we have backslides, but on the whole, it it was if it was a stock you'd be happy to see the chart right it was it was moving in the right direction 
and it's really just recently that I'm I'm turning back to look at it and and to be almost startled by the ground I've covered in that time that if I were doing the same thing that I'd been doing then all these days till now I can't imagine where I'd be I don't know where my life would be and knowing that being dedicated to that incremental change to accepting where I'm at at the moment with the drive to further that right that that's the sweet spot between accepting ourselves and having a drive to evolve and become more and produce more and connect more in life and I think that being willing to just show up and do it and do it and do it again you you can't help but come away with results it's it's true in almost any area of life and it's no different when it comes to our, our, our thoughts, our emotions, and our, our way of responding, because so much of how we live, how much of, of, so much of how we experience life is about how we determine to do that, how we, we set our, our perspective as much as anything. And so gaining a little perspective here, I, uh, I just thought I'd share, and as always, I hope there's something of some value, and as always, I appreciate you coming along, and I look forward to seeing what comes of the next round. Alright, until then, thank you, and take care.